Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Viking expedition experts. And today, I have the pleasure of being on board the beautiful Viking Octantis. Now we're gonna tour all the public spaces here today. You can also see the rooms and suites on our channel as well. But before we dig into that, I wanted to make sure that you know when you're ready to book your next Viking expedition, river or ocean cruise, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know the spaces inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with Viking Cruises, and we know we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now, the Viking Actantis is a purpose-built Class 6 polar ice vessel, which means an expedition-style ship that can go just about anywhere on Earth. It's really set up to explore the polar regions, the Great Lakes, and everything in between. And what you're gonna find here is a beautiful merging of an incredible expedition vessel, also all the amenities of a larger cruise ship. There's a great passenger space ratio, and because they have all of the toys, the submarines, the Zodiacs, and so much more, and a unique way to load into the ability to head on out and explore Antarctica, they're gonna get you into the destination the quickest, and of course, with this beautiful ship, you're sure to get there in comfort. Now, it's a highly inclusive experience, which means you're gonna have expedition activities and excursions included throughout your cruise. You're also gonna have wonderful inclusions on board, though some of that does depend on the level of accommodation that you choose. Once again, your hard travel ex expert can guide you through that process to pick the perfect option for you. Now, we're gonna to tour every single public space here on board, and we've started right here on the bow of the ship. Now from the outside, it's a very unique construction of the ship itself, and right here on the bow, you can see it's a quite expansive space. There's giant lights there that will pop up. This is that perfect spot as you're sailing into one of the beautiful bays of Antarctica, or you're cruising through the Great Lakes heading to Thunder Bay. This is that spot where you can step on out, get incredible images, and of course, they're also going to broadcast the information from the lecturers and the historians out here. Now, just behind me is a unique space called the shelter. I'll take you in there in just a minute, but it's that wonderful combination of being able to be stepping behind out of the weather, and then of course, stepping out here to take those incredible vi videos, pictures, and images where you can capture your favorite memories from a vacation of a lifetime. Now, I also wanted to point out because we're on the bow, you can see the two-story Explorer Lounge behind me, including the outdoor deck just outside the Explorer's Lounge, and right up above it is the bridge. Now let's tour this beautiful vessel. Now what you're gonna find all around the ship is purpose-built concepts for the destinations that this ship visits. One of those is the shelter. So we've stepped just behind the bow, and what you're gonna see here is you have covered seating areas. So there's windows all along the front here so you can still see out all of the beautiful scenery. And of course, you just step right up to the ramp to the bow. Maybe you wanna take photos and then come back in here to get out of the weather. Now you'll have bench style seating all around the front. They've got the cup holders there on the side. And then you see there's a big open area. So they're gonna do educational style experiences out here, that enrichment that they're so great at. So you'll have the naturalists and the historians will be out here as well, helping guide you through the destination. But what's wonderful about this particular space is you can access directly into the ship, but you can also step out to the bow for those beautiful photographs. Now, one of the oldest traditions in shipbuilding is the coin ceremony. So right here at the front middle of the ship, you're gonna find four coins that represent four birth years of very important figures. Mr. Hagen himself and his mother, also their Labrador retriever. We'll talk a little bit more about that later in the tour. And then you're also finding Miss Arneson, who is the godmother. So what they've done is they've taken these four birth years, you've got the four coins there, situated perfectly for when the hole was laid in 2021. Now we're just inside the beautiful two-story Explorer's Lounge. Those of you who are fans of the Viking Ocean product will recognize this space immediately. It's that perfect place to gather and take advantage of the incredible two-story vistas. So you're gonna have quite a few seating options here. You've got the chairs along the front where you can take in those forward-facing views. And as it wraps around, you're gonna find some intimate seating areas. And you even have two small libraries with faux fireplaces tucked around the bottom. Now we're here on the bottom level right now, and what you're gonna find right in the middle is Paps Bar. Now it wraps all the way around so you can sit at the bar, and of course they're happy to provide bar service all around the space. Behind me what you're gonna find is a timeline of world exploration, and you'll also find clocks from around the world, and I love the pictures of all different explorers. Now it's not just explorers of Antarctica, but you also have explorers from the oceans and all the way up into the celestial bodies of space. 
Now this is all about that feeling of space by having it two stories. It really opens up and you have an incredible amount of natural light. I know my wife will love to use this as a sewing room and it's that perfect place to tuck away for a book during the day or come for some piano playing, ambiance in the evening, grab a cocktail before you head out and enjoy one of the delicious dining options on board. Now we're up on the second level of the Explorer's Lounge. You can see behind me, they have those intimate nooks. You've got the fireplace back there, of course, faux fireplace here on board. And you've got lots of little cozy seating areas. But what this is all about, once again, is the incredible views. It's the perfect place to be in the scenic parts of our world. So you've got the seating areas with the couches, the chairs, and all along the front, you get those beautiful views out the front of the ship. Now what you'll see here is that continuation from down below. So it's open air here, and then it's also open air in the front. So what you're gonna have is that extension of all the incredible light, and they even have the constellations up on the roof, once again, paying homage to the explorers of the past. Now, one of the things that you'll always find with Viking cruises, whether it's the river, the ocean, or the expedition, is the fact that it's a family company and the family knows how to travel. The Hagen family has been in the travel industry for quite some time, and what you find is beautifully crafted ships and, of course, that concept of family. Now, behind me, you'll see the name, as I mentioned earlier, for Paps. This is named after Papa Hagen. So this is a family experience here on board. Once again, all about the Hagen family and their dedication to building beautiful vessels and exploring the world in comfort. Now, I just stepped outside onto the viewing deck in front of the Explorer's Lounge. Now, we're here on the lower level of the Explorer's Lounge, and what you have is that perfect place where you can step out, take some incredible photos, or of course, take in the beautiful breeze and the views wherever you are. Now the combination here is the ability to step back into the Explorer's Lounge, have a drink, a hot chocolate, a coffee, whatever it is that you love, and then you can go in and out and utilize the space as you like. Now, as we had asked from the Explorer's Lounge, we're first going to encounter the library. Now, they have a real library here on board with a wide variety of curated book selections. Now, you'll find lots of cozy areas to read. I love that they have these chairs here overstuffed with large ottomans. There's also charging stations in the middle. Now, those are European chargers. I always bring extra European adapters and converters so I can take advantage of all the plugs on the ship. You're gonna find game tables here all spread throughout, in addition to all the different library seating areas. Now, right in the middle, they have a little nook with a screening area, so they can utilize that when you get on board to learn about all the safety features. And then, of course, throughout the ship, they can use that for enrichment-style opportunities. Now, right in the middle, you're gonna find the bar. So it is a full bar. It's also a coffee shop. I love that they have quite a few of those options around. Taylor really appreciates the fact that he can go all around this ship and get a delicious latte just about anywhere. Now on either side, you're gonna find more seating and they also have a piano tucked over in the corner. So they'll have some beautiful ambiance here in the evenings. Now, as we continue to head aft, you're gonna find the living room. So you'll find more books here because it is an extension of the library, lots of lounge style seating areas with chargers as well. And then you're gonna find several different game options. Now, one of those is the fact that they have interactive tables. So it is digital here. All you have to do is press the button and you can pick checkers, chess, Solitaire, or any of your favorite games. Now they do have a wide variety of the real games as well. You've got Scrabble over on the side there, and they have several that you can choose from. You can imagine this is that perfect spot to meet up for a card game or a board game with your brand new friends or friends that you arrived with. Now you'll see here they have several more of the interactive gaming tables. They're also gonna have several game tables here as well. And then you have the large sofa, several different seating options, and then continuing along, you're gonna have even more intimate seating areas. This is your living room, but it's your living room with floor to ceiling windows exploring the most incredible destinations in the world. You can imagine sitting here, seeing Antarctica in the distance, or of course the incredible whales of the Atlantic and enjoying all of it in comfort. Now, all around the ship, you're gonna find enrichment. Now, part of the entire experience is of course the historians, the naturalists, and all of the incredible educators that they bring here on board. Now behind me, you're gonna find an assortment of whales that you'll find in the places that this ship visits. It's all of those little touches where you can learn, and of course you can dig deep into whatever you're interested in, whether it's the history of the area, the botany, of course all of the whales and the wildlife there. You're gonna learn about the destination, and then you're gonna experience it for yourself. Now this beautiful cove is Mamson's. Now it's dedicated and named after the Hagen family matriarch. And in fact, on the wall there on the far side, you're gonna find her original handwritten recipes. What you're gonna find is some Norwegian light bites, some open face sandwiches, split pea soup. And one of the all time favorites are the waffles using her original recipe. 
Once again, it's a place for light bites, a nice little cozy area where you can sit, relax, and of course, enjoy the beautiful views. Now the World Cafe is already a Viking favorite and they've really taken it to another level here on board the Actantis. You're gonna find a true premium dining experience. One of the things that I love is as soon as you walk in, you're gonna get the smells of the bakery because it's right here at the front. And then you're also gonna have that selection of incredible pastries and cookies to choose from. I've been known to stop by here a few dozen times a day, if you know what I mean. Now just behind me is one of the complimentary drink stations. I wanted to show you what that was all about. Now you can utilize these anytime you'd like. They'll change it out from breakfast to lunch to dinner. But you'll see here that for breakfast here, you have orange juice and apple juice, cranberry cocktail and pineapple. Later on in the day, they may add in iced tea and something along those lines. Now I did want to point out these stations. They have them all around the ship. So this is complimentary water. You can get cold water, room temperature, natural water, or of course you can get sparkling water as well. All complimentary and all included in your fare with Viking. Just next to it, you have your ice dispenser, and then you're also gonna have your coffee maker. Once again, if you like espresso, cappuccinos, lattes, you can get all of that at no additional cost. There's several of those throughout the World Cafe here. Now, continuing along, you're gonna find the dessert station. So just behind me is a chocolate fountain. Nothing makes me happier than dipping some of those marshmallows, the fruit, in the chocolate. It's absolutely delicious and a lot of fun as well. They've got a full dessert set up just in front. And then as we continue along, you're gonna find the ice cream shop and also the gelateria. So you have complimentary options to choose from every single day. You're also gonna have a wide variety of all of your favorite toppings here. So you can stop by before, after, or even dinner during your meal time. Now just behind me, you're gonna find that open kitchen concept and one of the fan favorites on any cruise ship, quite frankly, any destination in the world, and that is pizza. So the chef is behind me making that dough right now. They have pizzas that'll come out of those beautiful pizza ovens right there, and they're gonna have those for lunch and dinner every single day. Continuing along, you can see a bit of the bakery here. So they've got some paninis. You're also gonna have some delicious looking fresh pretzels. Once again, all of this is part of the bakery here on board. You're gonna have fresh goods made every single day, and as soon as you enter, you're gonna smell them before you see them. Now I mentioned the bakery, you get those intoxicating smells and it's also a little bit of show as well. I love this open kitchen design where you can see them cooking and then of course it all comes to fruition here with the delicious breads and pastries. Today you've got that focaccia of the day, you're gonna have several varieties and of course those delicious pretzels. Now one of the great parts of the design of this area is that you have redundancy on both sides. So you're gonna have the hot entree items here, you've got vegetables to choose from, you also have some beef, chicken and fish dishes. Now, as we continue further along, you're gonna find the salad bar. Once again, you're gonna have those fresh ingredients. You can make it exactly as you'd like and customize, and you're gonna find one on either side of the ship. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is the main dining option here on board. They do have two restaurants where you're gonna have the restaurant and Manfredi's. Those do require reservations. This is always open seating and there's ample seating for you to find the perfect option for you. You've got larger tables of eight, you've got tables for two by the window, tables for four and six, so you can grab your favorite meal items and of course grab your friends and enjoy a meal together. Now one of the favorites on the Viking Ocean ships is the grill. Now there you're gonna find it outside. Here they brought it right in as part of the World Cafe. Now just behind me, you're gonna find once again that open kitchen concept, some amazing chefs. For lunch, you're gonna have a variety of burger options. You even have a great tuna steak. And what I love is later in the evening, this turns into a premium style steakhouse. So you can have that dry aged beef. Of course, you can have lobster every single day with some surf and turf options. They've got a great variety of steak, seafood, and all of your favorite sides. Now, as we head further back, you can see another drink station here. So you're gonna have a coffee shop station there. You're also gonna have those waters and all your favorite juices and infused waters as well. Now to complement the grill on the port side, you're gonna find the premium sushi and seafood restaurant. Now behind me, you have some unique seating. They can actually do tastings here. And then as we head directly aft on the ship, what you're gonna find is a Japanese style setup here. So you'll see the bench seating. Of course, you have the tables for two and four as well. But as we step further back, you're gonna find the premium seafood bar. Now, Norwegians absolutely love seafood and you can imagine on a ship with so much Norwegian heritage, having phenomenal premium seafood really is a wonderful touch. 
Now you've got that just behind me. It'll be set up this evening for dinner. And then you're also going to have the full sushi bar experience. Now this is all complimentary, once again, as part of the World Cafe. You've got sushi bar seating here. You've got more booth style seating on the far side. So whether you want a delicious dry aged steak or you want some fantastic sushi or putting it together and add a lobster on top, you're gonna find some amazing premium dining options included in your fare right here in the World Cafe. Just after the World Cafe, you'll find another Viking favorite, and that is the Aquavit Terrace. Debuting first on the Viking longships at the front of the ship, and then of course added to the brand new beautiful Viking ocean ships, what you have is a fantastic winter garden style seating area. So in here, you've got an extension of the World Cafe. You're also gonna have a full bar and coffee shop over to the side there. Now keep in mind that you're gonna have lots of inclusions, beer and wine with lunch and dinner every single day, but you can also upgrade to the Silver Spirits package. It's a very reasonable price. And of course, if you take one of the top suites, that's gonna be included for you. So that's if you wanna extend your drinks throughout the day and of course, add some hard alcohol options. Otherwise, you can purchase them a la carte, once again, at very reasonable prices. Now we've stepped further aft and in here you get some incredible natural light. The entire roof is glass. And then of course you have glass 180 degrees all the way around. Now in here, you're gonna see some loungers where you can sit and relax. And right in the middle is the Tepidarium pool. Now this is unlike any other pool I've seen in this market. What you have is an indoor outdoor concept. So you can walk in from the inside here. Of course, you can get in from the outside as well. And you actually swim just underneath the glass there. Now, depending on where they're sailing in the time of year, that could be down in the evening, but they'll open that up and you can have such a cool experience to come up outside, have the beautiful, incredible views of Antarctica in the distance. Just aft of the Aquavit Terrace, you're gonna see where the swim through pool comes out. Now that is the Tepidarium. So it's gonna be a warm pool, but not hot. On either side, you're gonna find the Frigidarium, so that's gonna be nice and cold, so you can step in there for a few moments and come back out. And then on the other side, you'll find the Calidarium, which is a hot pool. So you've got that combination. Now, a lot of this ties back to the Norwegian heritage of the Hagen family. So what you're gonna find is that ability to do a circuit, warm, cold, hot, and of course, just the beautiful extension of the terrace out here. You can step outside and enjoy Antarctica or any of those amazing spaces from these loungers. Of course, they've got full loungers just behind me as well, but that beautiful view out the aft of the ship is perfectly captured here. And of course, you can step out with a food item from the Akovi Terrace or the World Cafe and enjoy the tables on either side. Now, what I really love about this space and expedition cruising in general is this type of expedition cruising didn't exist just a couple years ago. The ability to truly get into the remote regions of our world in true comfort, having beautiful pools and incredible places to capture the views is really a wonderful thing about expedition cruising. What I love about expedition cruising is you visit parts of the world that are best experienced on a cruise ship things that you couldn't see from land. And of course, with the beautiful Viking Actantis, it's the best of both worlds, where you get a very comfortable ride, beautiful amenities, and of course, the ability to capture these incredible views. Now, one of the most classic spaces on any ship is the promenade deck. Of course, the name comes back from the days when they used to go outside to promenade around and be seen, depending on where you're sailing in the world. This is a great spot as well here on board the Viking Octantis. You can step outside, do a little bit of walking, so you can walk all the way around. Of course, you can also step outside for some beautiful photos and head back in in comfort. So now we're at the open area at the very top of the ship. This is another place where guests can spread out. Now you're gonna have loungers taking advantage of those beautiful views out the side. You also have some great seating areas in the middle as well. And then it extends around the side as well. Now what this ship is all about is having that incredible crew to passenger ratio, but also one of the top passenger space ratios in the industry. You can see stepping up here to explore is a perfect spot to get a photo, or of course, to check out some incredible wildlife. Now you'll find two spots midship on deck two that are all dedicated to experiential learning. Now, as you visit destinations, the wildlife, the geology, the geography has a lot to do with understanding what you're looking at. Now, we've started off right here in the studio. Now, that's very destination focused that ties in. So behind me, you're going to find some birds that are most commonly seen on the Great Lakes. This ship is transitioning from the Great Lakes down to Antarctica here in just a couple days, and that's all going to be swapped out soon with penguins. 
Now you'll see that you have the viewfinder here. You'll see those all around the ship. And then you also have large tables right in the middle. The concept behind this, once again, is to gather together to learn. They even have an iPad in the corner that will tell you the birds that you're most likely to see today. I was a little bit surprised because we're in New York City and it was amazing to see all the different birds that you'll see around the city itself. And it all ties into visiting the areas that you go to and digging deep into understanding them. Opposite of the studio, you'll find Expedition Central. What I really appreciate about what Viking's done with the design of this ship is it's more than just a cruise experience. It's also about digging into the world and getting to understand it. They deploy weather balloons. They also deploy bait stations down below with cameras so you can learn about the destinations that you're visiting and see some of the wildlife. In fact, this was deployed recently here from the ship and you see all the different animals, of course, the fish primarily, so you can learn about that concept. Now it's also where you're gonna meet with your expedition team. They can go over all kinds of options with you. You can even look in a telescope to learn about the geology of the areas that you're visiting. Now you've got all kinds of different charts. Of course, you have a large reference material option that you can tap into where you can learn about all the different birds, mammals, plants, insects, and of course, the world that you're visiting. Now, Viking has dedicated this ship to not only providing an incredible cruise experience to get to the far-flung reaches of our world, but when they're there, they actually do research that helps the world as a whole. Now, an enormous amount of space has been dedicated to the Live Nordic Spa and Fitness Center. Viking is all about health and well-being and the ability to tie in their Nordic heritage. So you'll find here is the entry. So you're gonna to wanna to stop by on boarding day. They'll give you a complimentary tour of the spa, all the different facilities. Now keep in mind, they're gonna have a fitness studio. They also have a full salon. So you can have any of your favorite treatments. And of course, you can pamper yourself at sea just like you can at home. Now we've stepped just inside the hair salon. You see here, the first station is a hair station. So they do quite a few different options here. You can get done up to head on out and enjoy the beautiful ship or of course get a revolutionary new hairstyle. Now just behind me, you're gonna find that they have a manicure station and they also have a pedicure station. I love that concept of pampering yourself at sea. You can have one of each, or of course you can have them spread out throughout your time on board. Now something that's really exceptional is right here with the pedicure station. They even have a basin big enough for my size 15 feet, but you're looking directly out at the incredible ocean views. Now the hallway on deck two that connects Expedition Central and the spa is a really unique one. Now you're gonna have beautiful digital images on the wall. You also have beautiful images here as well as the wallpaper. But what I love is on the floor, you're gonna find some of the destinations that Viking visits around the world. Now this is the river product, the ocean product, and of course this amazing expedition product. And what I personally loved about walking down the hallway was reconnecting with so many different destinations that we've visited. So now we're inside the incredible thermal suite. There is an enormous amount of space dedicated to health and wellness and spa activities here on board. And you have in front of me this massive pool. Now it's a fasolotherapy pool, it is heated, and you have those incredible floor to ceiling windows. So you can get the amazing views, of course, here warming up, enjoying either the large loungers or of course the pool itself. Now this is all about the Nordic spa rituals. Now once during the cruise, they'll do an evening experience. It's called the Nordic Spa Experience. And one of the things that's really cool about that is they're gonna take you around. They're gonna teach you about all of these different concepts. So behind me here, you're gonna have the gentleman's locker room. So in there you'll find the lockers, of course the showers, the ability to change before you head right on into the thermal suite. Now there's a full circuit of activities that you can take advantage of with part of this whole Norwegian bathing concept. So you have the bucket shower just behind me. That's one of those classics where you pull on the bucket, you get that nice ice cold water on top. You'll have the experience shower where it's more of a Swiss shower style experience. And then you also have something that's really cool, the snow grotto. As I open it up, you can actually see snow coming down from the ceiling. It's a really beautiful and very cool concept, literally. Now continuing along the spa journey, you have the steam room, and then you're also going to have a finished sauna. Now it's a really nice large sauna in there. And what you're gonna find is all of this is complimentary to use throughout the cruise and all of the guests here absolutely love it. Now we're gonna cap it off with a visit to the Badestam. Now this is a traditional hot tub style experience. You'll see that you have the nice wooden tub as you would expect with a beautiful Nordic spa. So you go all the way around, of course, go through a few times and then you can head on over to the stone loungers, sit back and relax. Now the centerpiece of the thermal suite, as I mentioned earlier, is the large pool. 
I like that they have these seating areas all the way around so you can sit, dip your toes in the nice warm heated water, and once again capture those incredible views. Now behind me they do have a small water station like they have throughout the ship, so you can refill as you like with room temperature, still cold or sparkling water. Now we're just inside one of the treatment rooms, and of course having a world class spa, they have a wide variety of wonderful treatments for you to choose from. Viking knows that you'll be traveling the world extensively to get to the ship, and so once you arrive here, you can have some wonderful variety of rejuvenation options. So you'll have massages, facials, reflexology style massages as well. And in the treatment room itself, you're gonna find that you have a really nice shower with a rainfall shower head up above. Really nice, large, comfortable fixtures in here, just like around the ship. And then you're gonna have all of the modern techniques, and of course, all the choices to choose from from the large spa menu. Now, in addition to having the traditional spa experiences, they have some unique ones here. Let's go check one of those out. Now, this beautiful table is a dynamic spa experience. It's warm, so you're gonna feel this. It's nice and hot, so it's like crystals or sand type of thing. And what happens is your body just kind of melts into it. You're gonna have several different massage options and different treatment options that you can utilize this for. Now, this is really popular, so like any of the treatments here on board, as soon as you board, we do recommend that you stop by the spa and book your favorite options. Okay. Now, one of the things that you definitely wanna keep in mind is based on the category that you book here on board, you're gonna have early access to things like reservations in the restaurants, and of course, spa treatments. So if you definitely wanna get exactly the treatment that you want at the exact time, I do recommend checking out some of those higher upgraded room categories. We have them on our channel for you to check out. Now I just stepped inside the fitness center. You have all brand new world-class equipment. Now you're gonna find all your favorite circuit equipment along the line here. You can work your chest, your abs, your legs, and then you're gonna find aerobics all along the windows where you can capture those beautiful views. You'll see that you have two different kinds of bikes. You're gonna have a treadmill. You also have elliptical, a couple different styles of treadmills, and you'll also have the rowing machine. Now tucked over here in the corner, you're gonna find the dumbbells. So they're just underneath here. These also functions as the benches. So what you're gonna see is that you can do a full workout. You can complement what you do at home or maybe what you aspire to do at home here on vacation. Now, if you're interested in fitness classes, they have that here on board as well. Now this is the aerobic studio. You're gonna find that you have all the different medicine balls. I love that they even have the rollers. Now I use those all the time to roll out my back and all my different muscles, especially after I travel. Now you can see that this is really an approach to holistic wellness. The fitness center, the aerobic studio, that goes along with the spa, so you can have an amazing health and fitness experience while you're exploring the world. Welcome to the beautiful aula here on board the Viking Octantis. You can see behind me, it's a theater style setup. It's modeled after the aula at the University of Oslo. Now this is where they present the Nobel Peace Prize. Definitely honing in on the heritage from Norway that is tied to Viking from the very beginning. What you're gonna find here is a theater, but it's one of the most unique theaters ever built at sea. What is the entertainment is what's all around you. You're gonna be in Antarctica. Maybe you'll be up in the Great Lakes or any of the destinations in between. What you're gonna find is two-story floor-to-ceiling views. But more than that, you're also gonna find this stage where they're gonna present a wide variety of enrichment. It's all about that hands-on ability to learn about the destinations you're visiting, the incredible things that you're gonna see, and then heading out and experiencing that. Now, some of the unique setups here is that you're gonna have floor-to-ceiling curtains on the side. You'll find the works of Edvard Munch, and then you're also gonna have this giant screen up above me that will go on tracks all the way down. So it'll be completely blacked out. You'll see a presentation and then like magic, the curtains will come up, the screen will go all the way up to the top and it's like a great reveal with Antarctica behind you or any of those incredible scenic destinations. Now there's also a door that heads out to the aft area. That's going to allow you to do inside outside style activities. You can imagine having some enrichment on astronomy and then heading out and checking it out for yourself. Now, once again, this is all about what the Viking brand really hones in on. It's the ability to dig deep into destinations so that you have that lifelong learning concept, great enrichment opportunities, and then also, of course, the ability to take in some of the most scenic parts of our world in true comfort. As we step out of the aula, we are now on the Finsa Terrace on the aft of the ship. Now, this is named after the Finsa Plateau in Norway, once again tying into the Norwegian heritage, but it's also a unique spot where quite a few of the early explorers who went to the North and South Pole did their training. 
Now what you're gonna find here is a recessed fire pit. It's a really great place to go. You can imagine in all of the beautiful parts of the world sitting out here and having those incredible views. You're also gonna find heated lava rocks there in the middle. And just for fun, the name also pays homage to the Hagen family dog. Now this is that great spot. Once again, as you finish some enrichment, you can head on out here and experience it yourself. It's also a great place to be if you're looking to take photographs as you're exploring the exotic parts of our world. Now we're down on deck one, and just in the middle here, I wanted to point out this really beautiful architectural piece. So it shows the structure of the ship a bit, and there's also see-through glass looking down below. That's actually where the tender embarkation area is, and one of the things it like is form and function, so you can see whether it's busy down there before you head down to get on one of the tenders. Now on the far side, you're gonna find the Viking Bar. It's a coffee shop and a full bar. You can stop by there before dinner. It's another one of those great intimate spaces where you can tuck away. Now, another really cool feature here is the dedication to the areas which they visit. On the roof up above me is actually the migratory bird pattern going between Antarctica and the Great Lakes, which is what this ship primarily will be doing. So I love that concept there that you have Exploration Central and the studio, and connecting the two of them together are, of course, all the bird flight patterns. Now, as we continue through the space, you'll see the guest services desk. So they're here to answer all of your questions. They can assist with excursions. They can also assist with different concepts with your rooms, or of course, if you just have any questions related to money throughout your cruise. Now, my high recommendation, of course, is to pre-book those excursions based on which category you've chosen. That's when the excursions will open up to you. In addition to that, you definitely wanna pre-book any of the reservations for the restaurants or the spa as well. Though when you get on board here, they can assist you with making changes or answer your questions. Now you're gonna find two seated restaurant options down here on deck one. The first is the restaurant. So we're in here right now. What you're gonna find is the classic cruise dining experience. You'll have all of your favorite options, whether you want those tiger prawns or the salmon, or of course the delicious chicken or steak. But in addition to that, there's gonna be a rotational dining menu each and every single day. Now, something that's very important to understand about the restaurant and Manfredi's next door is that both of these do require reservations. So the main complimentary dining option here on board is the World Cafe. These are complimentary as well, but you're gonna utilize your reservations based on what category you booked. So it's important to understand that you wanna make those reservations as soon as they become available online. Now behind me, you'll see that they have booth style seating here, tables for two, four. They can put them together for larger groups as well. And then on the window side, you're gonna find more tables for two up against the window. And then you have tables for four and six all throughout. Once again, this is a plated course by course menu option here. It's absolutely delicious. And of course it does need to have reservations. Now another delicious and highly elevated option here on board is Manfredi's. This is gourmet Italian cuisine. You're gonna find all of your favorites. Of course, you're gonna have the handmade pastas, delicious risottos, all the different entrees, appetizers, soups, and much, much more. Now you'll see the decor in here is beautiful. You've got the wraparound booth style seatings on the side. You've got tables down the middle, and you also have tables for two and four at the windows. Now Manfredi is named after one of Torstein Hagen's great friends in the cruise industry, another fellow founder of Cruise Lines. Now, what I love about this is it's that camaraderie that brings it together, but more than that, it's the absolute delicious concept of a family-style Italian meal. You have the open kitchen concept behind me, so you get those delicious smells when you walk in. And keep in mind that this does require reservations. You're gonna have early reservations for those top rooms and suites, and then when you get on board, of course, you can make more based on availability. Now, tucked in between Manfredi's and the restaurant, you're gonna find the private dining room. Now, this is something that would need to be booked on board, but if you're celebrating a special occasion or traveling with a group, you can reserve this on board to have a unique dining experience. Now, opposite of the travel consultant, you can find the Nordic shop. This is where you'll find some Viking logo wear and various retail items. They even have things like SD cards for your camera, just in case you took too many pictures. We know that that's a possibility, especially with all the amazing places this ship visits. Now we know that you're gonna have an incredible time on board and what better place to plan your next cruise vacation than right here. The travel consultant's just inside. You can stop by anytime throughout the cruise. You can also set an appointment if you'd prefer where you can book your next cruise on board and take advantage of some wonderful options. Now keep in mind, you can also purchase future cruise certificates where you'll get a discount for a future cruise. And when you get home, we can handle all the details for you and help you pick the perfect option. Now, one of my personal favorite spots here on board is the Hyde. 
It's fashioned after an Explorer era speakeasy, something that you might find an Explorer in. And this is a spot where they use for quite a few different activities. So of course you can come down here during the day. It's a great place to grab a book. You've got more of that curated library experience down here from Haywood Hill. And you're also going to find this utilized for whiskey and wine tasting, even some chocolate tastings as well. One of my all time favorite experiences is the geology of whiskey, talking about the stones and even the earth and what it means to have the specific wood types that's used to make the Scotch whiskey or other types. So what you're gonna find down here is they'll also do a bit of explorer story time. So you're gonna read from the excerpts, maybe from Shackleton or one of the great explorers. And what's really cool about it is that happens when you're in the very spots that they were visiting. Now you're gonna find windows on the sides, which is unique because we are at the front of an expedition vessel. In here, you'll find small tables for two, more seats along the window, and you'll also find this extra comfy sofa sitting area here and on the other side. Once again, beautifully designed, highly functional, and it's not always found by guests early on in the cruise, so I love to sneak away here. It's my great escape, or my hide, if you will. So now we're on deck A where you're gonna find the tender embarkation center. Now this is midship. It's not to be confused with the hangar where you'll board all the expedition vessels, but what you're gonna find is on either side you have the ability to board the tenders. Now this ship visits out of the way destinations. Not all of them have a full pier or a dock, so the ability to utilize tenders here to board on either side is a really fantastic option to get people on and off quickly. Now you'll see above me, you have that glass floor. If you look all the way up, you can see that migratory pattern once again of the birds going between Antarctica and the Great Lakes. Now, whatever destination you're visiting, I really appreciate the concept of comfortable access to where you're going. So you have the elevators that take you all the way down here. There is one flight of stairs that'll take you down to the embarkation area, but you can see there's a lot of space here where you can spread out and of course, get into the destination quick and start enjoying. Now, when we were in the Expedition Central area, I did talk a little bit about science and about the research that Viking participates in. Now, here is the full science lab. And what I really love about it is it's the idea that you get to be hands-on with research that's truly meaningful. So you'll find that they have this all set up. They'll get out all the microscopes. Of course, the different scientists that will be researching will be in here and they'll guide you through the process. They'll talk about the things that they're finding, that they're seeing. And once again, you get to participate in that lifelong learning experience. Now, this to me is what really sets the Viking Octantis apart from all of the competition. We're now inside the hangar. And what you'll find is very traditional ways to explore. You'll see the Zodiac boats all around us. Of course, those are what are gonna make the landings in Antarctica and other remote destinations. But what's truly unique to Viking is right here in the middle. They have two very large special operation boats and the way that they load, you can see it here, is you'll step up onto the platform there, you'll walk right onto the boat. And when the time comes for you to launch into the ocean, whether you're in Antarctica, the Great Lakes or anywhere in between, it's just gonna roll right off and then this will head directly back and they'll be able to load this one as well. The secret to what Viking does is the speed at which they can unload all of this equipment. There's two large hangar doors on either side. There's also the large hangar door in the back. And on the sides, what they can utilize is they can take the big cranes you see up above to get the two incredible underwater submarines here. And they also are gonna have the dive boat there. And then you have several different types of equipment, including kayaks. It's all about getting as many people out as possible to go and start exploring right away. And once again, this is a major advantage that Viking has over their competitors. So you'll see all around me, they have a plethora of Zodiacs available. Once again, the special operation boats that are all about that quick loading and quick embark and disembark off the ship. And then behind me, you're gonna find the submarine. Once again, there's two submarines here on board and what better way to explore the seventh continent? Now just behind me is a yellow submarine. Now we're not gonna live in it, but what we are gonna do is head down with five of your closest friends and explore the depths of Antarctica. These boats can go down to nearly a thousand feet. They can really do some incredible exploration. And once again, that is Viking's mission. It's about destination immersion. It's about enrichment and how better to learn about the underwater sea and what better way to learn about everything underwater than to head down and check it out for yourself. Now I mentioned earlier the loading of the special operations boats and I wanted to take you down and show you what that's about. You can see here that it's simply as easy as stepping across the threshold. This will go down and then you'll step right onto the boat. 
What you'll see behind me is you have those shockwave seats. The idea behind it is, of course, when you're in a rigid inflatable or you're in a special operations boat, you're going to get a little bit of movement. And what that does is it helps to absorb the shock. So you'll see you have the seat there. You'll also have the back up behind it. Those handles will pull down so you can enjoy Antarctica in the most comfortable way. I'm sure you can see by now why this is such an incredible option to visit Antarctica, the Great Lakes, the polar regions, or anywhere that the vessel visits. And the reason is, of course, all of this amazing equipment and the investment that Viking has made in the ship itself. So you're gonna find extreme comfort, delicious food, of course, all the health and fitness options that you could possibly imagine, and all of the toys. You've got the Zodiacs, the submarines, the special operations boats behind me, and even the science lab up above where you can be part of that lifelong learning experience. Now, when you're ready to book this amazing ship, the Viking Polaris, or any of the Viking ocean or river cruise vessels, make sure you reach out to the experts at Har Travel. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line, and we know we can help craft the Viking cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and get the Har Travel signature service every step of the way.